Okay, this is the 8860 uh, memory recorder from Hioki. I'll just give you a quick uh, overview of the hardware on this recorder. So we've got a uh, A4 thermal printer on top here, display screen, key functions uh, to start and stop and operate the recorder and make the appropriate settings. On the side here we've got uh, the uh, channel information, so if I can just show that there that way. So we've got the uh, analog input channels here, there are four slots. In this case we've got a two analog channel unit up to 400 volts DC and so they, in configure with these uh, analog inputs you get uh, eight analog channels. We've got uh, some logic uh, inputs here. These are four channel logic units so you can get 16 logic channels. Uh, in addition there's a USB slot for memory stick uh, storage, compact flash, sto flash storage, uh, you can add a mouse which makes it much easier to operate the unit in the front, it's a Windows style interface. Uh, keyboard and an uh, Ethernet uh, 100 base T uh, interface as well. Okay, so uh, when you're setting up the 8860, there are three things that you should try to establish when you're uh, setting the recorder. Basically, uh, the voltage axis, the time axis, and trigger. Okay, we're trying to measure a uh, 5 volt 50 hertz signal in this case, so we need to set up the uh, voltage axis first. So just press the set key. And that brings up a number of pages for setting the unit up. Uh, we're trying to locate the channel key, so you can use the up and down keys. Make sure that's highlighted on channel. So this is the uh, voltage range here. So you can see uh, we've got range per division. We've got 20 divisions uh, from in this on the display here. So at the moment we're on 500 millivolts per division, which will give us plus or minus plus or minus five volts. And on this scale here, you can see the active green shows us the signal in. So we're right in the right range on this case. Okay, we've set the voltage level appropriately. Now we need to set the time axis for the amount of uh, sampling speed and the amount of uh, time we want to capture. So we need to locate the status uh, page on this unit. So press the up arrow. We've got status and you can see here, we've got the, uh, the time base and it shows the number of uh, samples per division and that's typically there's 100 samples per division. So we're trying to capture 50, 50 hertz signal here, so that's a 20 millisecond sampling speed, which should give us one cycle per division. So that's appropriate in this case. If you just want to change the sampling speed, you can use the keys across here, press the F1 key, for example, give us one millisecond per division, two milliseconds per division. In this case, we'll choose 20 milliseconds per division. Okay, we've set the uh, voltage and the sampling speed for the recorder. Now we've got to uh, set the trigger conditions for the recorder. So locate the trigger page here using the, the set key or the up and down arrows. I'll just use the set key to locate the trigger page. And here we get the appropriate settings for the trigger menu. Okay, so for triggering we just keep, need to keep in mind the uh, conditions for the trigger. So in this case we've got uh, three different modes. We've got single, repeat and auto. Sing singles are sim the simplest trigger condition, so just capture one waveform. Uh, we've got pre-trigger information, so information before the trigger and after the trigger. So if I use 50%, I should get half the waveform before and half the waveform after. And then if I move the cursor down to the actual trigger condition itself, you can see here we've got a simple level trigger, which is just a line across the screen, and as the it gives you the slope. So as the, the waveform moves from below the zero point to the to the above the zero into the positive section it should trigger the recorder. Okay we've set the trigger so the recorder should be ready to go so all I have to do is press the display key to get back to the main screen and then press the start key to arm the recorder. You can see hopefully it should store the waveform for us. Okay so there's a good amount of information that comes when the information from a memory recorder. First of all you can see the trigger position this is where the signal went from uh, minus to plus and a zero crossing. We've got the uh, time, so zero, uh, 50 milliseconds, 100 milliseconds relative to the trigger position. And I'm allowed to uh, mag the information that's uh, presented here. So if I just move the cursors using these arrows to the mag, I've got the times mag here so I can go four times, increases the magnification in the time axis. Okay, so it's pretty easy to uh, print out the uh, waveform on the A4 printer. Press the print key, gives you a quick selection, enter the selection, and 
you'll get the A4 printout at the top of the page here. Okay, so one of the nice features of a uh, recorder is your ability to automatically save uh, the waveform to a medium of your choice, memory stick, compact flash or the hard drive on board. So just press the set key again and locate the save uh, part of the menu. So just scroll down to the save and you've got the options available for save. Uh, in this case I'm using auto save so as soon as the recorder is triggered and the waveform is captured it will save it off to the appropriate medium. In this case I'm using the PC card and you can see here I've got the waveform on. I'm using a file name called test which will, if I've got more than one it will auto increment uh, as each file is uh, saved and the format in this case is text which is a uh, comma separated variable which is uh, compatible with Excel. Okay, so we've covered some of the basic features of setting up the uh, Hiyoki 8860 memory recorder. Uh, this recorder obviously uh, has a lot of advanced features. It's 20 mega sampling uh, s sample per second recorder. It has uh, a number of analog input channels up to 400 volts DC. It's got several logic input channels. It's got things like uh, LAN output which allows you to do things like uh, HTTP server services, uh, access via web browser. It's got a multiple number of uh, storage features for the data that you capture. For example, compact flash, USB, etc. And there's a lot more uh, advanced triggering features that you can use on the recorder. Does that sound? Okay, so that was a brief introduction to the Hayaki 886 memory recorder, one of the quality test tools from Hayaki.